Hello. In this short video, we'll demonstrate how to calibrate or reset the Burmad 400Y 42T torrent pressure reducing valve. Here in this piping arrangement, we have a Burmad 42T pressure reducing valve. And here, mounted on the main valve, is the pilot valve. Prior to resetting the outlet pressure, make sure that the inlet pressure is at least 20 psi or 1.4 bar higher than the required outlet pressure. For example, if the required outlet pressure is 60 psi or 4 bar, make sure that the inlet pressure is at least 80 psi or 5.4 bar. Also, during the adjustment process, the flow rate should be as close as possible to the actual expected flow rate. If this isn't possible, ensure a minimal flow rate before you begin the calibration process. Where a relief valve is installed on the downstream, it will have to be set to the highest setting to prevent it from opening while resetting the pressure reducing valve. Start by removing the grey plastic cover on the pilot of the relief valve. If a smaller direct acting relief valve is installed, do the same. Unscrew the locking nut to free the adjusting screw. Proceed by turning the pilot adjusting screw clockwise to the end to set the relief valve to its highest possible level. Now that we are ready, let's start resetting the pressure reducing valve. Begin by removing the protective cover from the pilot. Unscrew the locking nut to free the adjusting screw. Turning the adjusting screw clockwise will raise the set pressure and turning counterclockwise will lower the set pressure. Slowly turn the adjusting screw to raise or lower the set pressure while observing the outlet pressure gauge until the required pressure is attained, in our case 4 bar or 60 psi. When done, re-tighten the locking nut. Complete the pressure adjustment process by replacing the protective cover on the pilot. All pressure reducing valves should have a relief valve installed downstream of the pressure reducing valve outlet as an added precaution against downstream pressure spikes. This relief valve should be typically set to open at a pressure of about 0.5 bar or 7 psi higher than the set outlet pressure of the upstream pressure reducing valve. To do that, slowly turn the adjusting screw counterclockwise, thus lowering the set relief pressure until the valve opens slightly. Note that with the standard spring in the pilot, each full 360 degree turn of the adjusting screw changes the pilot setting by about 2 bars or 28 psi. When the valve opens slightly, you should notice a small flow from the valve outlet. At this point, start turning the adjusting screw slightly clockwise until you reach a point where the flow stops. From this point, continue turning clockwise a quarter of a turn or 90 degrees to set the relief valve at about 0.5 bar or 7 psi above the reducing valve outlet pressure. Finish the process by retightening the locking nut and replacing the pilot cover. The relief valve calibration is now complete. Where the relief valve is of the smaller direct acting type, the calibration procedure will be exactly the same as the previously shown pilot operated type. We at Burmad hope you find this information useful and invite you to contact us with any questions or issues you encounter. Thanks for watching.